Yeah, totally West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got Wi Fi Farmer is, and Daddy. Mm -hmm. um, we've got what, nine minutes left to the final snapshot? So there yeah, is so we got nine minutes. If you guys just use a skill point, remember to change your wearable. You still got a little bit of time. Um, I think I'm not hearing any issues. I think uh, like last time we had a couple issues with equipped sets. I think I haven't heard any of those tonight. So it looks like everything is good. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is at uh, 10 p.m. or I guess 11 p.m. Singapore time, Hong Kong time, 3 p.m. UTC, we'll take the snapshot. And then that block will be the, the uh, source of truth for the leaderboard. And we got, uh, what do we got planned for tonight, Mr. Golden Cross? Yeah, got a nice got little nice, breakdown. A very nice agenda. So um, besides the key stuff tonight, which is all about you guys and the leaderboard and the winners, um, leading up to that here in a few minutes, we're going to leak some... Brand new details, fresh off the shelves. In fact, there's some group, a very interesting project that literally just tweeted about us for the first time minutes ago. And so it couldn't be better timing. They just uh, published their press release and just kind of announced their partnership with us. And uh, I haven't even had time to read it, um, but I knew it was coming. So we're all gonna read it together here in a minute. And uh, then we'll talk a little bit about Dino Swap. I think we've got a date for that AMA we really need to do if that Avogachi uh, Dow core proposal is going to pass. So that's uh, been confirmed. And then we're going to move into kind of while we're doing that stuff, Dan, you're going to be kind of calculating the cumulative winners of this entire season, right? So there's the yep. obvious round four winners that you see on the leaderboard right now in real time. But there's also the winners that have performed the best over all four rounds. And those are the true champions of the entire season. So um, you may have seen in a previous post that there are some kind of gold colored um, looking trophies. And those are the badges that are going to be awarded to the top three in each major category. And we're really excited to see who they will be. Um, I understand there's still a little room for upsets and finagling between the big three. So if you're one of the big three right now listening and that some, suddenly motivates you to make a change, uh, make that stretch goal, uh, now would be the time. And um, I think it's the XP one that's the most competitive, right? We're actually yeah. it's pretty up in the air. XP had, uh, let's see, we had for round one, the, well, let's see, XP... Uh, was pretty consistent for round for the first and second place, uh, but the big the big one is in round uh, the the third place, the bronze, which has three different winners. So it'll be interesting to see who's going to win that this round. And then also for rarity, uh, there was a kind of a battle going on between Rasanante and Winklevoss. If I remember correctly, last time Rasanante came out with two uh, uranium rods. Big upset. And now that, that it uh, shook the Avogachi world. <laughs> so we'll see if that happens this time. I'm, I'm refreshing yeah. the leaderboard. Looking for those uranium rods. That would change the Waiting game. For the upset. And uh, it's totally, totally within reason. I, I would not be surprised one bit. So we will see what those cumulative, the true season champs are for the, the whole championship and uh, pretty excited to distribute those very, very special badges and, um, and see what we can do there. And um, then there will be a cumulative participation badge. We're very happy to confirm that is yeah. Alpha League. Yeah, going out to everybody in the... Um, <laughs> I don't think it's everybody, but pretty much everybody that participated and at least ranked in one of the categories. Um, it's the same badge no matter what category. So it's going across just as long as you ranked in any category in any round, you're you're getting that bad boy. You you were here. You participated. Yeah, yeah. We always joke about participation trophies, but I think in this case, it is a uh, proper. You know, there are a few haunt ones that just weren't summoned. Uh, right? So they should yep. be distinguished from the ones who did show up. I think it, it totally makes sense to to make that uh, distinguished. 
and so, um, lots of airdrops going out. Yeah, it's going to yeah. take us a little bit of time to yeah. set that up, but uh, you can expect that over the next couple of days. And uh, the ghost as well. We'll try to get that out tonight, but it's uh, it's already getting late here, especially after the end of this. But we'll try our best. If not, it'll be probably early early tomorrow. Will be the first thing we do. Getting that ghost out to you guys. I know you guys want to want to pull it out of your poor Gachi's pocket. Take their take their ghost from them. Yeah, I need my money. But uh, uh, yeah, there should be a kinship <laughs> penalty for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you took my cash. No, master. <laughs> but yeah, you got to put that ghost to work and start staking it. And so, totally get it. Pay your master, nice. right, Daxi? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then Three as, left, as, oh yeah. And then as that finishes up, um, we've got a bunch of stuff on the back end here. That's really exciting to share with you. I know everybody's waiting to hear more about the realm and the metaverse and where we're going with that. So I uh, got some great updates to share with you guys there and, and maybe a few surprises there at the very, very end. So, uh, possibly related, possibly unrelated. So I see up above here, maybe we can get into, I see Noah's, you, you tracked it down like immediately, well played. That is Taker Protocol. And if you guys check that out, uh, I'll just drop the link again in case anybody's listening and not scrolling up. Uh, Taker Protocol really, really impressed us. We are super excited to be working with them. It's early, they're not live yet. And we're super stoked about what they're doing though. And it comes down to the fact that you will be able to lend out, do lending uh, with your gachis and, and still be able to pet them too. So we're very excited about what they're doing. It's a really well thought out uh, plan. It's, it's quite, let me put it this way. I, I was going away from it, scratching my head being like, okay, they really delivered on all sides of kind of what this should be. So um Super excited to see what we can do together and uh, be a launch partner. And and Dan, you were on, you you've talked with them quite a bit as well in their team. Uh, you have anything to add there in terms of? Just... Yeah, I was on the call. We we had we were introduced by uh, another partner that we have, and I was very skeptical. I think we both were. We're like, who is what is this Taker yeah. protocol? But it's uh, it actually fills. Uh, a cool niche that uh, a lot of members in the community have like asked us about. They, uh, they want to lend out their avogachis and like, uh, well, they want to, first of all, they, there's two parts to it. So you can use your avogachi as collateral and you can take a loan on it. Or what's, I think what's going to come a little bit later is you're going to actually be able to lend your avogachi to other people and, uh, they'll be able, like, you'll be able to let them use it for, uh, for some interest. I think, and that's really what I've heard a lot of people asking, you know, when are we going to have like Avogachi lending or wearable lending? So I think that's kind of the market that Taker wants to do. And the, the great part is they're going to be live on Polygon. That's their, their first go to market strategy. All right, guys yeah. just mm -hmm. took the snapshot here. Ooh. So that means the time is up. Hope everyone is in the right spot. It's one five seven four eight five five one. Let's post that here in the chat so everyone for sees the it. Record. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Snapshot has been taken. Awesome. You, you can keep going. Yeah, no, that's super exciting. Um, well, I guess while we're talking, so Taker, that's like our first super exciting uh, partnership that we were, we're going to see where it goes. They said they'll be live within a month. So timeline wise, guys, I think that uh, I was just looking through it and it doesn't look like they mentioned the time in the PR, but um, we, we, our understanding is within a month that will be live. And uh, the lending part with the petting may come a little bit later, but the collateral and taking loans off of NFTs should be there on launch day. So super excited about that. And then we move forward to DinoSwap. Now DinoSwap, I think, is a really interesting situation because it's the first time that the DAO may make use of some of your guys' funds and in, in the treasury. And um, Real quick, so that's- Dino or Dino? 
I say dino. I think it's like you say dinosaurs. Tacos. Do you say no. dinosaurs? No, but I say dino like the Flint. I guess I watch a lot of Flintstones. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I just think of Flintstones, dude. I don't know. Dino swap. Dino. I say dino. dino. Y'all are gonna have to deal with it. I don't think I can change at this point. Oh, Buzz, that one's out of date, but thank you. Buzz is here with us, our lead ambassador. He is on it, uh, flashing it there. And uh, actually, the Dino Swap AMA is confirmed. It's very important for our core vote, right? So we've got it set up for this week, a little bit later, Thursday, 3 p.m. UTC. We're going to be sitting down and chatting with the Dino Swap team, and it'll be right here in the Discord. So just get... Uh, Get comfy and be ready to ask them some of the tough questions or good questions or softballs, whatever you want to ask them to uh, win your vote in, or, or not and uh, find out if it's a good idea for us to partner with them. Because, you know, we're endorsing it and we brought it forward in, in with some quotations in that, you know, we've done our due diligence. We think it makes sense to drive liquidity to Ghost and they are, from everything we can tell, a the most dead serious um, type of farming project we've come across in a long, long, long time, and maybe ever on Polygon. That said, there are risks, and there are also different philosophies about how to use treasury. So um, the next step, obviously, is to have a direct conversation with them. And we're super excited to uh, to be able to get them in here. Now, that said, the, key, the core team is a non, so that may also affect your vote. It isn't a non team but they're not a non when they talk to their partners. So I don't think it's gonna last very long. Um, and their investors are not a non. They're, they have VCs backing them and they're slowly rolling out their reveal and coming out of stealth mode. So anyway, uh, we can go through all of that this Thursday, 3 p.m. and get the lowdown and uh, pin them down and figure out if, if they're a project we wanna partner with. But uh, I totally agree with Moon, I mean, that. Uh, they do kind of ma match our aesthetic, don't they? I mean, dinosaurs and Avogachis hanging out. But we can't base it on that, guys. That just doesn't make enough sense. So, um, yeah. Avogachi Dow, you guys get your chance to to run them through the ringer this Thursday. And uh, <laughs> it actually does make enough sense. It's fine. <laughs> Um, all right. And then one more thing here before, I, and Dan, are we, how are we doing on the calculations for cumulative? Yeah, it's going to be a second here, having some sure. some issues with the uh, the number here. But uh, give us give us a bit of time. No worries, we've got more good news coming. So let me drop another image in the chat. Um, oh, Mookie Bear, I almost yeah, I agree. And just for the Dino wearables, it's Dino wearables. It's very tempting. So no. Um, let me see here. Do, do, do. We have another image here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys an Avogachi. <laughs> Sil is on it. <laughs> um, yeah, that is Dan right now. He is a busy boy. And all right, this looks like the original Avogachi. This is how it played out if you guys were... Uh, happened to be tuned in when I, I joined the Coindesk Consensus. Um, they did a Polygon hour last week. And we actually went through the whole thing from bridging Ghost from layer one back to Polygon. We did that. Then we staked some. So we were making friends. We did a whole demo, ran through the whole thing. And the other thing we were doing while some of the Ghost was bridging is I had my own Ghost and I went and got a portal, bought a portal off the bazaar, opened it up, went to QuickSwap, and ended up staking and summoning this beautiful Avogachi that actually had the highest BRS in the portal. It's like it was meant to be the eyes, everything. It's the original deal OG Avogachi. And it came in with a decent, though not amazing, BRS. And uh, yeah, you just got to love that. So anyway, we named it C21 after the consensus event. And uh, I've been doing a Decent job petting it, I think. The kinship's going up. And um, now what we're going to do next with it is we've been talking with the Coindesk guys. And so they have an event this Friday. And what is going to happen is this will be 
they're going to make a voucher NFT as a claim to own this Avogachi. And I don't know if you guys know, maybe I could pull it up real quick, but there is a market they are experimenting with, with another Polygon uh, based NFT project called Unifty. And they are making, uh, they actually released a token for uh, this year's consensus event and it runs on Rinkaby of all things. So it's on Rinkaby and it's called the desk coin or desk token. And it's kind of experimental, kind of fun. It's just an incentive. If you uh, go to CoinDesk events, you can earn these from, I guess, a faucet, something to that effect. And anyway, if you can get enough of the uh, CoinDesk desk coins on Rinkby, you may very well be able to own this Avogachi. And they have uh, a kickoff event this Friday where they will be revealing this C21 Avogachi. So um, just a little little alpha there, and uh, we'll probably make a post about it in the coming days, but let you guys know it looks like that is happening. So um, yeah, guys, we're, we're moving on all fronts. Um, you know, one of the things I can address while Dan's working too is that when we talked about Dino Swap and whether or not to partner and best use of funds, I saw a lot of comments, uh, at least a few occasions where people were saying, you know, these funds could be used to grow the team, to build out the team. And um, I think I should uh, address that. And maybe we haven't made a big enough deal about it. We haven't published a, a community update lately that addressed this. But just so you guys know, like the team is growing every week. Um, I can't believe how much time we're spending doing, you know, interviews and like the HR department is in overdrive. So we have over 20 full-time employees now at Pixelcraft Studios. We hit the 20 about two weeks ago and it's it's quite exciting. So the uh, the team is, is yeah, 20 full-time, some part-time as well, some local contracted work and and then the partners. So it's it's growing a lot. We're, we're doubling down on the investments. A lot of that is going into the dev side and um, I think we have over a dozen developers now, and you guys have gotten to know so many of them, whether it's um, the the dev evangelist like Candoizo, who I think is here with us right now. He's welcome to hop on the, the call. And, um, and also more uh, game designers, game creators, people from the game industry. So really pivoting and bringing in our solidity background with our with the the game vision that we want to have for the metaverse and and beyond so lots going on there and uh no worries guys we are are doubling down on all that this week we are finalizing um some big big um onboardings for our marketing side so uh let's triple our marketing internal team and uh, less relying on outside contracted work and uh, i think it's going to make a big difference there and uh you know, the game we're building and what's already built with Avogachi deserves to have a very large megaphone attached to it. And that's where another hire comes in with uh, Buzz Lightning and his experience as he's been running communities online and crypto related Bitcoin communities for literally almost a decade. And he brings his expertise to the new Ambassador V2 program that I know so many of you are part of. No futuristic, I'm looking at you, is just listening to your live stream. Yeah. Very good stuff. Um, seeing a lot of activity on Twitter with so many of you uh, creating your own gotcha gangs. So the ambassador program up and running and uh, everything's going to the next level. So um, yeah, I feel like we have a lot of momentum internally as far as you know important things that need to be in place so that we can execute on the vision. And, um, and then we're still free to, that's where the DAO comes in and can, can focus on you know, other things or augment what we're doing when we see a, a potential opportunity, like what we're talking about here with Dino Swap. So, uh, so much going on, lots of growth and uh, absolutely no reasons to be discouraged just because rarity farming season one is over. Um, rarity farming season two will not be far behind is my hunch. Yeah. So, um, yeah, any questions, guys, or any, any, uh, I'm going to read here what's going on. Making progress, guys, just need a few more minutes. All good. <laughs> Cookie Thief is like, yeah, season two. Um, 
Yeah, really quick on the UNIFTY Coindesk front, they have an NFT marketplace. I just dropped a link to it. I'll take a screenshot too, because sometimes pictures speak louder. It's kind of a cool looking. Well, I'm not going to say it's cool looking. It's it's all right. It's, it's no bizarre. Oh, that's epic high planes. <laughs> that is good. Time, person of the year. I forgot. That's where we're shooting. Let's get it. Let's get it. So yeah, this desk uh, yeah, token. Yeah, we just you got Wired see. magazine. That's pretty fucking epic. Yeah, I mean we're not that far off. Wired magazine mentioned us this uh, in this recent article, so uh, that was really cool to read. Uh, us and Zed Run. Um, no future success. Do you have any idea when Ghost will be added to Ave on Ave? You know, it makes sense. Ave is on Polygon now. It's kind of a no-brainer. The deal, from our understanding, is that listing tokens on Ave. Um, requires their DAO, right? And currently their governance structure is completely on layer one, which is kind of an awkward situation for them. So they are, the, the bottleneck is getting their governance migrated and having an independent governance for, for Polygon version of Aave. And that is in the works. We're assured that's coming very, very soon. And when it does, I think we have a super, super good shot. So it's just um, a matter of the infrastructure being there for us to properly get our our voting power up and and then make that happen. So uh, yeah, great question there, and um, that's that's what we know and and what we expect. Yeah, we will continue to hold regular XP events, so no worries there. Um, those are going to continue. We can also continue when. Um, the awesome mini games that have been seen and made throughout, then um, we we can keep going with those. There's no reason to stop. And I, I think my understanding is uh, just like we briefly mentioned on the roadmap. There's there's like more we can do with the game devs. So so currently it's been kind of proof of concept. I think the next iteration of games is going to be a little more focused on um, what the our dev evangelist. Uh, Candoizo and Coyote have have been building out in terms of libraries and tooling for you guys to build even better quality or uh, most importantly, cheat proof games. So our own server stuff uh, deal where people cannot with a few lines of code go in and, you know, if the incentives are too high, then it's, it's worth it for people to hack the leaderboard and that's no fun. So we're addressing all of that right now so that we can take it to a higher level. Um, let me see here. Um, hey, guys, guys, we got I'll... some rewards coming in. Uh, look yeah. at, I think I, I tallied them up here and for the three different types. So let uh, give Golden Cross a break here as he looks at those. And uh, mm -hmm. someone was asking any, any comment on reason, uh, season two reward structure. Great question, Unfit Stone. Uh, there is a great proposal in the forum that I've been, I've been uh, kind of going back and forth with you guys. I think... It's really interesting. This is a, kind of a question we've been thinking about, about for a while. And I'm so glad that uh, I, I think it was, who was it? I think it was PLM that brought it up. And it's such an interesting question because we, we do want to make sure that the new players coming into the ecosystem uh, don't feel like they're taking their, you know, that, that the, the DAO or the game is redistributing their funds to the OGs, that would not be good for, yeah. I see you guys are, are doxing him, uh, good job. <laughs> that would not be good for the uh, ecosystem. So for my, my take on it, I think rarity farming should, in at least the majority, possibly all of the rewards should be like an all time leaderboard. Although there is an interesting idea to take the Delta of the, uh, the difference between like season one or whoever's like moved up the highest, but I think that's kind of difficult to do with, with rarity. So for rarity, I, I really think it makes sense to have a lot of the rewards going into an all time. And that could lead, if we don't have a lot of new wearables come out, which I don't think will be the case, there's going to be new wearables. If there's new Avogachis, then it would be, it would be difficult for the, the Haunt 2 Avogachis to move up in, in rank because there simply wouldn't be any wearables for them to use. So new Avogachis need to come with new wearables to give them a fighting chance in, in the rarity farming for the rarity comp uh, category. Now, kinship and XP are obviously much different. 
for kinship, I, I totally support uh, making it. Um, it could almost be like haunt haunt too could almost be its own thing as far as the, the kinship rewards going specifically to that one. Because I, uh, we have mentioned in a couple times here in the chat that kinship is going to have an interesting use in the realm. So I don't anticipate that people will, uh, there will be, there's still going to be a competition for highest kinship. I can't, I can't leak yet. I'm sorry, but coming soon, but the, there will be some competition for kinship, but there will also be other use, use cases for it as well. So I think it, it would be interesting um, either to do a haunt to leaderboard specific, or it could be the Delta on how much your kinship has increased. That probably, yeah. was, I think, I think the latter probably makes the most sense. I'm listening in here while I do some other stuff, but I think this is the Dow thread you're referring to, right? Uh, the yeah, potential yeah. to make season two great. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good points in there. Notorious BTC is one I would consider that kind of surprised me, and it's honestly something I hadn't considered. Where instead of just thinking in like black and white terms of, you know, uh, round, season season one is for haunt ones and the majority of season two is for haunt twos and that kind of thing. Uh, instead it's all time and biggest gainers. So like most yeah, improved the players, deltas. That, that, mm -hmm. the deltas that you were mentioning. And that's a very interesting way to think about it. So that works uh, great for kinship. I, I definitely think that's a great model for kinship. Not so sure. It's a great model for rarity because uh, it's a little bit, I think it'd be harder to quantify it. it like the, the current, Number one guys, uh, the Winklevoss, Rossinante. I mean, they wouldn't really have anywhere to go, right? They would. They're already yeah. at the top, so they couldn't really go much higher. They but, would be uh, on the all-time list and benefit, but they yeah. they wouldn't really participate in the. But they wouldn't participate in a season two uh, haunt two exclusive leaderboard either. So it's the the same yeah. for them. But yeah, and then a, for kinship, I think the Delta idea really makes pretty good sense. And then for XP. Uh, could also, yeah, probably use something like the Delta, where the biggest gainers are, are going to be rewarded. So what? Uh, it's still a work in progress. We, we don't even have Haunt 2 yet. <laughs> Haunt 2 tomorrow. Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. I think we need to wait for Haunt 2, and then we'll, we'll also at the same, same time be hashing out this, this question. But uh, definitely... If you guys have input, def definitely feel free to uh, make your voice heard. I see there's only seven responses in that thread. So if you're, if it's something you're passionate about, you know, we can uh, probably, I would say, get it to at least a signal proposal. Maybe, I don't know if it's necessary to do a core prop, but at least a, a, a good signal proposal to show uh, that people are, are passionate about a certain options. I'm typing so, here. I yes. know you guys can hear that. Yeah, great question. Um, let's see what other questions we got. Do we ever decide to give a unique background to Haunt One? Yes. Yeah, the the that was passed very early on. Uh, it just hasn't. Uh, we haven't gotten to it yet. But once uh, Haunt Two is like being prioritized, now that we finish rarity farming, we'll be turning more to to that. Uh, I think we'll definitely put priority on getting that background created. Okay, so you know the the uh, calculations are coming in here, guys. And um, Dan, if if what we're looking at here is true, we've got a really there, there's no differentiator, right? <laughs> this is a well, tight race. Uh, there's, yeah, there's kind of a. <laughs> There's kind of a tie for. I gotta go back through the rule book. <laughs> but it, the uh, I think the highest. Uh, I think the the latest one is the winner because it has the highest XP. If that's that, that could be the tiebreaker. I don't think we had a tiebreaker in, in the rules for this. But the issue is there's four different Avogachis that all have the high the same X. Uh, they there's four different winners for third place in XP. But I believe uh, that the latest one has the highest XP. So I, I, I think it would probably. now before we reveal who that is, it, it does seem that would be the most obvious way to go about it. Is there's four different rounds, they all won one round, and it's XP. So if one of them it has a higher XP than the others, it would be crazy for that one not to win, right? That's how my logic would, would play out on that. 
So, not, so. so it's, it's the round four one, not because it's round four. It's the round four one because it's the highest XP. Um, Could be kinship maybe. tiebreaker. We'd have to we have to look and, and see what the let's see the kinships for all four of those are. It would take a little bit longer to to finish that up. I know we're trying to do that on this call. If uh, it could be, I guess kinship tiebreaker could be. Can it. we do a live poll here with the? Uh, we've been doing polls all night. We could get because the kinship's an interesting idea, but I would argue so against it because you know somebody with higher XP loses the XP so they, category. We got a. Uh, well, Winklevoss is one. He's got two o three, and then that's oh, I wouldn't reveal their prime. names. I would I would keep it, you know. Oh, okay. Right, it should be appropriate. We just on principle, what would be the best way to calculate? And then we'll, we'll reveal the the names. Um, if you want to type that up, a quick little poll with four two. I guess it's just two choices there: kinship based or highest XP based. Um. We can reveal the other two rounds. Those are pretty clear. So those are the easy ones. So Wait, when me, we... me, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it one more. Oh yeah, I see why. I I see why. Yeah, so this that we have this tie because Rossinante is number is uh. You see, everyone can see Rossinante is is number one in XP on the leaderboard. Yeah, he has got a massive he... bat. So <laughs> currently <laughs> we'll... around. Four. He's, yeah, he's way off. Late here now is the, where the tie is. If they're all tied for third, then yeah, the let's let's see. I, I think the kinship ha is a, at least enough worth a quick vote, and it's kind of cool. This is a real time. Uh, if you're here, you get to have sway on this. But I, yeah, I think it's well because uh, one of them already won for like one of them won first place, so he's out. Right, you can't, you can't win. First place and and third place. Oh yeah, yeah, you're already the so, champ. So, so that one, that place. guy's out. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. let's see who who else we got here. So three left. And I would say for those three, it's we we could vote on two choices. Is it based on assuming there's no more ties on their XP? Who had the highest XP of all the three? Yeah. And then there's or, yeah, there's three left. You could do kinship for the tie. It just uh, makes kinship more OP, and that's kind of funny. <laughs> like kinship really matters. So, um, first, I'll start with this round and uh, the snapshot. So we got our round winners. Let me drop in our rarity round. Do, do, do. Well, here, well, let's go straight to it, guys. Are you ready? The Everybody saw the gold trophies, right? We've got some. Let's start with our. Sorry, guys, I got to gather the image here. This bad boy. Let's see for the main deal, the rarity champion, who is going to be putting this in their pocket. Only one, one of one. Who wants it? I think we all know who got it. It's uh, for the rarity champs. We have a pretty clear decision, and the top three go to <laughs> Winkle Boss, eighty-eight forty-five, Rasanante, fifty-five thirty-five, and Felon sneaking in there at the end for the third place trophy. So champs pockets going out in style. And um, oh, some more data coming in here. Let me uh, check it. So beautiful. Love that picture. Okay. Yeah. Good looking group. <laughs> OK, um, one second here. Lots of real time calculating going on. Double checking our. Okay. Well, that that switches things. We have an upset. I'm going to have to redo our graphic. <laughs> so, <laughs> if we're doing well, it by, okay. if we're doing it by uh, XP. Does it, it doesn't even. Let's see. The highest one has. Either way. The, yeah. Well, he, uh, highest one has eighty one hundred and two hundred three kinship. The second highest has 
7375 XP with 42 kinship and we, what if we just add them up? Is that how about that? <laughs> the the third one has 7330 XP with 213 kinship. Yeah, this, for the non-auditory people, I'm going to just drop this in and you can't see who's who. Yeah, we should chop the badge in half. There we go. We have to break into three pieces. These are the three third place winners for kin uh, for sorry for, for XP. XP. And now you can Stop see it. their XP score there. Is kinship does kinship matter? I think um, let's just do a quick poll. Should uh, the tiebreaker be based on kinship or should it be on the highest XP score there? And uh, I'll just type it up here real quick. Uh, Weirdly enough, Joe Biden secures the number one spot. Most voted man in history. <laughs> you going to write the, the poll up? Yeah, I'm, I'm quickly uh, doing that. I think I know which one's going to win, but it looks it looks tight. Yeah, it's it's kind of fun. I say we got options here, people. Go with kinship. No, there we go. Keep it simple. You Respond with one of those two. And uh, where is that in the? Uh, you can you need just to do respond it in the under my go. Okay. All right. We'll move it to. Uh, I guess maybe it's. I not figured it was a live poll. Yeah. So if nobody can, if we can let that hang for a minute, just take that go, and go ahead and let us know what you think. Oh, oh, all right. Never mind. Highest XP and highest kinship are voting. Holy crap, it's close. <laughs> it's close. What about adding them up? Can we just add them up? That doesn't make any sense to me, but if people want to vote on it, let, let's see how close this gets. Kinship seems to be pulling away pretty well here. Oh, sorry, XP. Sorry, I didn't include your choice there, Danny. I, I on the... It's pretty close. Yeah, the guy with 42 kinship, like, I don't know, bro. You need to you need to pet your avogachi. Whereas my wife says, touch your avogachi. Oh, that's you a gotta, good way to You got to touch your avogachi. <laughs> You're not touching it enough. Well, I mean, the, the yeah, that guy probably doesn't he's have a, a case. He's, he's in the Middle East. He's in her foreign it. language. It's all right. Gotta oh, touch kinship your overtaking it here. It's getting wild. Really? Oh, kinship? Snap. He could go all the way. I don't know. We didn't put a stopper on this. Keep going. It's people are we'll changing do, do their a, votes. A couple more minutes. <laughs> For Goodness gracious. Oh, there we go. Stop there the count. <laughs> the polling, the polling stations are closed. <laughs> Holy cow. The ballots are coming in from, from all over the place. It's getting too dramatic. I love how it's going up and down. That's wow. Yeah. Dude, I, I wonder if, if you're here and you're one of those gachi owners, you better make your case now. <laughs> Kinship is more important. Pet your gachis. Uh, too funny. All right. I'm going to give it to looks the, like uh Looks like highest kinship is winning now. Oh yeah, we're making, a, we're making a we're making a consensus here. We do not here reward go. gotcha neglect. Fifteen seconds. I'm looking at my digital clock. <laughs> Some people are definitely changing their votes. If this is a rug pull, there it goes. It's this breaking. This is for the XP category. Yeah, that's right. This is so XP tiebreaker based on kinship. Woo! The XP, the XP. the kinshippers have it. The yep. can't ship this habit. Ship it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that's going to take a minute to update the graphic, but holy cow, this meme became more apparent than more appropriate than I expected. Ship it. Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> my goodness. So who does right, that put us at? Yeah. yeah, let's see here. Uh, let me quickly. It looks like, uh, well, they've got to have the highest XP. But so we're, are we well, saying only? Can you reveal? Only... Yeah. 
So here's I, here's what we got. I mean, th these guys have higher XP overall, but you can also argue that the XP wasn't available for the the previous guys. But that's I mean that's not a great argument. So here's the three that we so got. So based on this, three eight three is the winner. Yeah. Three that eight is, three. Uh, it's Adam Uni. No, a, a, a vomination. Are you in the house? 383. <laughs> the rug pull. All right. Let me up. So it the, has uh, lower. This is what we're voting on, though, friend. It has lower uh, overall XP, but it won in its round. There's four different winners, one it, yeah. for each round. So this is how we're basing it. Is it based on XP right now? Or is it kinship right now? Or those are the two choices. I'm gonna scroll up one more time, and uh, I think everybody got it. Yeah, it's 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 a very clear vote. And um, let me just quickly reveal our three kinship winners. They're going home with the big trophies. Do the music. Da -da -da -da. Whoa. Slipped in there. Uh, <laughs> the name is wrong. Sorry, I didn't update the name. Oh, yeah. blind, blind is the one who got screwed. Recall, recall. Bye uh, <laughs> bye. Rip blind. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All right, let me update that. Avam. How the hell is he spelling that? Avamination. That's a great name. And his, number five. Uh, he was number five in this round, which is still very respectable. Respect. He, maybe he didn't participate in the latest mini games, or he didn't eat enough avogachis for breakfast. But he did win in his category in one of the rounds, so he's eligible, and he has the highest kinship. <laughs> I love Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, he did his thing. Abomination. Bring it in. And then, you know... That's where all the drama was, but Hauntcom, like, this is, uh, you got, you got the wrong, you have the wrong name there, friend. It's, it's not kinship champs. It's XP champs for your picture. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, it's, it, again. It, it, it's hard doing shit live talking and making graphics. <laughs> you gotta really understand hard. that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break here. So true, Holy so cow. All right, we'll get it right this time. <laughs> okay, so actually, blind didn't get wrecked. That means blind belongs on the kinship one. Right, so he's he's he good, got kinship. Happy for yeah. him. Good, good for blind. I won't reveal who got wrecked here. Uh, although you guys see the ID numbers, you can figure it out. But yeah, let me check the subgraph, see if it's okay, how it's doing. <laughs> All right, here's our updated leaderboard trophy podium good. for XP. Let's reveal the true winners. <laughs> Rosamonte bringing it home with XP. There we go. The equal sign taken number two. And there's a vomination in the proper third place. And I'm sure, sure, sure. Woo! Wow, Figma on the fly. Tell you, tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. The the guy's name on the left. Are you sure that's the right one? My Should my be. thing says Starbucks here. But did he change his name recently? It could be. Is it the right number? Eight five three. Eight five three one is the right number, but his name from what I'm looking at says Starbucks. Okay. Yeah. Earlier today it was equal sign, so he must have switched it. Cool story about him. I'll show you here what I'm looking at. Cool story about him or it is uh it's the only non godlike to bring home a trophy. So how cool is that? That's cool. Yeah, he probably got bought this morning and changed the name. So did he eat? There. Did he eat one? Did he like buy it and then eat it? Mm -hmm. Possibly. Interesting. Okay, where are we with the next reveal? We've got one left, right? I think the one I kind of accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> so let me get blind back in there. I deleted them. And here we go. The kinship champions. 
R. Hong Kong. So XP should be Can Starbucks, like right? Just just for clarity. Yeah, the third place is Starbucks. Um, who recently had a name change, I guess. Second place. So, second place. Like, uh, oh, sober. sorry. Second. Yeah, yeah. The equal sign changes to Starbucks. Thanks. Kinship Plus with 466 and then Haunt.com. How much does, let's see how much Haunt.com has. 481. Woo! <laughs> we should. Yeah, 41 is crazy. That's that's how you get the gold, folks. I like this <laughs> Special Olympics for Disney. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Where's the picture yeah. of the, uh, of like Rocky eating the raw eggs every morning? We yeah. can replace it with, replace it with potions. <laughs> just just guzzling potions all the time that's how you win <laughs> <laughs> so Someone in retrospect that, the round fours leaderboard it, i mean it's it's basically what you see now super impressive all around top 100 everybody's earning top 10 everybody's earning for that round but these trophies will also be going out for the cumulatives Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Let's get here. <laughs> uh, that's great. Amazing. Um, well, should we shift gears here and conclude the night with a couple of uh, big, big news pieces? I think that's what yeah. uh, we should probably do. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna. We'll get the airdrop for the ghost going out uh, quite soon. Hopefully, it won't take too long to to prep that but we do like to do a final check before and it's getting late here so most likely that'll go out uh within 12 hours from now so let you tell your gotchis the, the funds are on the way but let's get into some alpha here yeah i'm, uh, I'm just going in to get that picture we discussed earlier dan i think you're probably right about that okay. that'd be a cool way to kick it off um Guys, the realm, the, the Gachi verse realm is the full name of it. First of all, let's let's call it by a proper name. The Gachi verse realm is coming along very, very nicely. When we talk about growing the team, a lot of that is going into the Gachi verse realm. So, uh, like I said, all star team being put together to make that happen and huge progress being made on that front. And, um, what we can first reveal is the most important thing is the light paper. The light paper date is set. So we are basically ready to go with the light paper and it's going to happen all next week. Yes. We're looking at the middle of next week, Wednesday, the 23rd Dope. light paper drops and it's going to have all oodles and oodles of details. And, um, hopefully, yeah, all you guys in the ambassador program, everybody like, Whatever your favorite social media of choices, that's where we hit it and we amplify it and let people know that, yeah, it's we're done with the metaverse. It's the Gachiverse <laughs> realm. And, uh, and that's true. I guess that's a good segue into why it's not just a metaverse. That's kind of how we've approached this. And I know we've been calling it a metaverse, but it it when it metaverse means different things to different people, first of all. And so in our case, in my case, anyway, my experience with the metaverse is things like crypto voxels, Decentraland, and um, the interactions I've had there, and, and a little bit of Somnium space. And for sure, that's not the only way I look at. You could look at all of Web three. You could look at Sandbox, and uh, maybe something like uh, like that. What I guess, Dan, what do you, what would you say if, in a nutshell, how is this different than than those without like at a high level? What is our approach? How is our approach different? Um, the well, I mean, the the word metaverse comes from like the uh, snow crash, and you know, we we didn't we didn't create the word. We like to create words, as you guys have probably discovered. And uh, so for us, like having the Gachi verse as its own new concept, new idea, it was also cool. Uh, but we you know we looked around at all the the different metaverses out there, and we're like, none of these are like really their own game they're not a game they don't you don't you kind of you know you run around you socialize you hang out but they're not actually like a game so we wanted to make sure that uh we took the ideas of the metaverse the social aspect but we also 
fused it with actual gameplay so we can actually like legitimately call ourselves an nft game and uh we're also one of the core building blocks of avagachi is is this DeFi yield aspect which we also want to carry over into the meta into into the gachi verse and uh oops that i just did i just leaked something there but uh so we're, we love yield we love yield generating things and uh, it's safe to say that the realm, the Gachiverse realm, will have quite a bit of uh, of yield generating things within yeah. it. Yeah, it's going to be more than just a place. You know, the product market fit for the crypto metaverses so far has basically been a place to show off your NFTs, an NFT art gallery. And there's nothing wrong with that. The Gachi metaverse can definitely handle that too. But the gamification side is where we, we kind of want to blur the line and kind of create something of a, almost a new genre. This is something that people probably haven't, it's going to be hard to put it in a category because it's, it's balanced between the social aspects and the gamification. And so we will see how it all plays out. Um, I know it's been really fun. We, we had a lot of great advisors that we've had calls with and, and we've pitched this to and, and not really pitched it like we're trying to win them over, but like, tell us where we're wrong here. And generally we make a lot of eyebrows go up and that's pretty cool talking to guys that have been building the games since the nineties, since the two thousands, um, everything from first person shooters to RPGs. And so, you know, putting this in a category is hard, but it's, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. And I guess we, we have a lot of progress on the design side as well. And it would be wrong of us to not drop a little bit of a visual to go with what we're talking about here. So let me see here. This is just one little snippet. It's obviously not final art. The art director that's working on this would probably kill us if he knew we were sharing it tonight because him and his team and what we're building is, this is not like final in any way. But enjoy a look at what a gachi verse uh, realm may look like for uh -huh. your Avagachi to explore. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's it's a little bit zoomed in we're we're not pulling back too much it's kind of a crop shot but i think you guys get the idea we're we're going we want we don't want it to look like every other game you've played we we hope it can look a little bit tron but but just a little bit its own flavor totally its own flavor yeah it's uh it's definitely got a grid uh we like the idea of you know, we, there's something about the grid, the Tron, the vaporwave aspect. We really love. It's uh, such a great aesthetic, but we're also going way beyond that as well uh, with with uh, the direction and, and all the different things that will be included in it. But uh, that is kind of one of the, the base elements you can see there on the side. You have some kind of like uh, grid-looking uh, walls uh, on the riverbank there. Yep, that is a bridge. Exactly. <laughs> yep, got you on the bridge. So, you know, bridges mean a lot to our, us and our community. We we did some early bridge work, so it seems like a good place to start. We do love our bridges. <laughs> we, we sure do. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much more we could say on that front, but we do have a little bit other stuff to share tonight, too, including... Um, we are going to be launching a SIG prop for a very important potential DAO vote. First time, first thing tomorrow morning, our time, so roughly uh, 12 hours from now. And that involves a little something known as Haunt 2. So we are going to need to populate this Gachiverse. And it's either going to happen later or, or sooner. And so we would prefer sooner, but it's up to you guys, the DAO. And um, it also involves more than just a simple up down, but what that number should be. And, um, you know, there could be a lot of little haunts. It could be haunt two, three, four, five, six, and they're all 10,000 each, or we could scale this a little faster and, and do 20,000. So for, for haunt two. So that ties into what we're doing um, with, with filling out this universe. Cause if there's only 10,000, trust me, the gotcha verse is uh is going to need, That's big. need to be filled out. And, you know, 
we're starting the SIG prop this week and the light paper is coming next week. I think once you guys have the full light paper, you'll see that uh, we're also doing some very important things to address onboarding new users and getting people uh, involved in the Gachiverse uh, without necessarily having to own an Avagachi, but also like it's like a toe in the water. And then if they really want the full experience, they, they need to go get an Avagachi. So I think um, I think there's a lot of cases to to be made for some kind of haunt too. And um, we'll get that published tomorrow with all its fine details and a um, DAO form to go with it. Yeah. So one, there, one there's been multiple. Note, yeah. Yeah. One thing to note is that we are kind of waiting for Ave to list ghosts because they they told us. I think Jesse, you were saying earlier about the governance part. Mm -hmm. We're kind of waiting for them to port their governance uh, of Polygon, which doesn't currently exist. Uh, the th the kind of shitty thing is that the actual voting is still going to take place on mainnet, but the mainnet execution will apparently be able to add Ghost as a collateral. So uh, we would really, really love to have a, a AM Ghost as a collateral in Haunt 2 Avogachis, but we're kind of, it's not up to us. It's up to Ave about whether or not they want to add it. So. If they do, then we can, if they do it in time for Haunt 2, that would be super cool. And if we wanted to wait until they do it, that would also be an option, but um, hopefully they, they won't delay too long. We, we have verbally from uh, saying, like verbally signals from them that it should be possible pretty soon. But uh, you, you guys know how, how things are. Uh, it's not a guarantee. There's no, there's no solid time frame. But we would love to have uh, AM Ghost is, is one we'd love to have. And then uh, AM Wrapped Bitcoin is another one that would be really cool to have. We might retire one or two of the old collaterals in, in, in exchange for those two as well. Yeah, yeah the AM, AM tokens are mm -hmm. the Ave platform tokens. And whereas Matic, the, yeah. M, the MA, the MA ones are the ones that use our bridge from layer one Matic. Uh, Okay. So yeah, there's a few ways to go about it. I'm actually more of the mind that we just do um, Aves live on layer two on Polygon. So why not just do Haunt two as all the Ave, you know, listed tokens there, and uh, and totally leave the MAs for Haunt one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So yeah. Oh, that's a good looking GIF. That's <laughs> that's <about>. <laughs> So nice. yeah, there's a couple couple things to flesh out there, but we've we've got uh, a little time until so uh, maybe we should launch those in parallel, Dan, like a a DAO form about what it sh what H two looks like, as well as that's contingent on whether or not like the H two sig prop passes at all. Like if it passes, then the other one matters. So as far as the the, the collateral, I think the collaterals. Uh, I don't think anyone. Would I don't think there's a re well, especially because liquidity is de declining on ClickSwap. I think it makes sense to just swap out all the uh, MA tokens for AM tokens. Yeah, we've right. we've tried yeah. to uh, we've tried to sell the idea to Ave of having AMA tokens, which are <laughs> MA tokens wrapped in A tokens on Polygon, but uh, hasn't really gone anywhere yet. We've we've told them a couple times to do it. <laughs> It'd be super. We it, it, like the literally. It's like only possible on layer two. These double yield Ave tokens. Um, but I don't know if they'll go for it. In theory, so if, they seem like they love it, but the follow through is yeah, it's like so slow. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So if not, then we'll just have normal AM tokens that are on Polygon, <laughs> Mama tokens. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, it's liquidity. The liquidity for MA tokens has diminished because they stopped giving any rewards for them. Uh, whereas, like, Ghost is still fairly well incentivized, uh, but the AM, the MA tokens that we bridged over kind of lost their liquidity. They, they're still a decent amount. It's like a couple hundred thousand dollars per, which is nothing to sneeze at, but it's not like in the millions anymore. But the AM token tokens have great liquidity on QuickSwap. So I, it makes I sense to use those. 
if Eduardo is in the house, um, hit us up, raise your hand. You can join. Right. I think he, he might be here today. And for good reason, because, okay, so if, if Haunt 2 is coming soon. Yeah, I do see him. If you, cool. If you guys know from the roadmap that we're really um, excited about this auction method, as opposed to the very stressful, very FUD promoting uh, first come, first serve model, right? So auction model, awesome. Let's do it. But it doesn't really make sense to do something as important as Haunt 2 as our first time using the auction method and its contracts and the whole system. So we've got one more little surprise for you guys here tonight to finish out with, and it's going to involve a trial run of the GBM um, auction method with a little post rarity farming season one uh, auction. So it won't be a raffle, it'll be a proper auction. And let me show you what we're going to do. It's going to be on a small scale, just a couple of new sets designed by Zbot himself. And uh, they're going to be really, I think, quite beautimous. But let me see what you guys think. So meet our two new sets. There it is. Ooh. That's pretty dope. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this, these adventurers here are going to lead the way to our auction, um, GB at first GBM auction, and it's going to let us stress test the system, make sure everything runs smooth so that we can do it on a bigger scale with Haunt too. And wow, people really feel in that design. <laughs> Which one do you guys like more? Do you like the gamer cyberpunk or the, uh, the steampunk one or both both let me let me break it down to pieces here we got one more graphic <laughs> to go with it <laughs> dang that's dope yeah we got the steampunk and the vaporwave Steam. gamer i like the steampunk until you call it steampunk okay <laughs> <laughs> oh someone oh, uh man. people saying asking if this is going to be a raffle this one won't be a raffle, but uh, stay tuned for lots of updates on raffles coming soon. Raffle. Good point. Yeah, the uh, the raffles are coming back with a vengeance. Oh yeah, like make no make no mistake about it. There's gonna be some epic epic uh, uses of raffles. So yeah, this one is meant to be more on a, a this is strictly we, we gotta test it. We gotta make sure the auction runs smooth in the community, make sure everybody's happy with it and it, it like nothing surprises us. So um did we say we got Eduardo on the call with us? He's the yeah, head of I GBM. And um Yes, I'm here, guys. Hi hey, Edward. Hey. So yeah, you've been listening in. You know, we we just we've been talking week after week, working out all the details for the auction with you and your team. Um, is there anything new on your guys' side with GBM that you can share with us and where things with, with the auction? Um, well, I think we're on a very, very good place. So yeah, we've been really thinking about this, uh, uh for the next, uh, for the last few weeks, maybe even month, I would say, right. And we think this is really gonna, uh, change the game in terms of getting rid of the advantage that bots, uh, have had. Uh, in the previous drop, and really also make the drop into like a very enjoyable and collective experience where like everybody wins, because there are people that may want to participate that may not end up uh, owning a portal. And so with this system, uh, these people can still take part and they can be part of the bidding and then and they can be there and they can get ghosts from doing that. So. Uh, definitely, we, with the great community that you have as well, that uh, that feels like a, like the right mechanism to, to use. And so, yeah, so we're definitely very excited as well. Uh, GBM is quite new, right? So Avagot is going to be one of the first places to use it uh, at this at this level. And so, very very excited to do that with uh, with all of you guys. Uh, now we're we're going to be kind of pioneering and using your guys's GBM model, but I understand that you guys are also building out other use cases for GBM uh, that you incept and had incepted well before we even approached you guys. So, uh, do you have any updates on other places people might get be able to look forward to using the GBM auction model? 
Yeah, for sure. So uh, the first place where it started being used was the cryptograph platform, and uh, which was to sell like uh, one of one um, uh, artworks uh, from uh, celebrities, and which had quite a lot of different celebrities and artists uh, that they use the system. And I think that's actually done. That's on this platform that you first discovered the GBM. I just send the uh, uh, the link of the platform just so people have it. Um, yeah. And that's so the, the the new version is coming soon uh, because we're moving to gasless, and so we're gonna have the auctions coming out uh, in a month. And these are like things that uh, raise money for charity every time they get sold and resold. Uh, so right now there's no auction right now going on, but they will come back in the next few weeks. Okay. And otherwise we're working on this new um, this new uh, marketplace called the My NFT, which uh, is very very exciting uh, for us. Um, which uh, is not live yet, but let me just maybe send you just a screenshot so you have it. And if you want to follow to know what's happening with the MineFT uh, marketplace, mm -hmm. that's the uh, Twitter. And we're going to start making announcements very soon. Basically, Cryptograph is kind of the charitable, charitable uh, NFT marketplace, um, like publisher. And that's how it's been live since last year. And this is going to be more like the uh, Instagram slash eBay of NFTs, basically. And uh, so, yeah, we're very excited about that as well. And uh, of course, GBM will be, a, will be a central part of this new marketplace so that everyone, both collectors and creators and just bidders, uh, all, uh, are all winners, basically, like what, like what we're trying to do with, uh, uh, with you guys. So, yeah. If, you, if anyone has a question, by the way, um, People have any questions on the system? Uh, I can stay on the on the chat for a bit to answer them. Yeah, great. Thanks for sharing the link. Um, kind of, you've been also kind of a very stealth mode. So very excited to see the my NFT. Um, we can all follow and hop on there. So that's excellent. It looks fantastic. And um, we're super excited about taking advantage of the GBM because it's a perfect technology to apply to to um, what we've been trying to do and defeat the bots instead of facing them head on, but kind of like give them room to work and uh, we can absorb them. And then also in terms of not putting stress on everybody, like people don't need to be stressed about being first come and just having the best gas in a gas war or just plain getting lucky. There's, there's less of that. So looking forward to it and uh, really love the reception. It seems like everybody's very excited and I, I, I can understand why with Zbot's latest designs. These are just two really awesome sets. Dope. So um, we'll get a date out for that very, very soon. I think um, based off today's last call, it's gonna be probably first week of July, but don't hold us to that. Um, we'll be able to test these and have our first yeah. auction by very early July. Just like we did with the OGs, you guys know the bonding curve tests that we did. We will probably do uh, a Coven or Mumbai based test of, of the system before we actually unroll it and, and use it. So that's going to be really fun. Uh, probably could be part of a missions, uh, missions V2, or it might just be a standalone thing, but uh, definitely will be some, some testing happening and, and some uh, lots of fun to be had with, with a uh, test, test net uh, playing around. So I can't, I can't wait for that, but we'll have uh, full details on that soon as well. Wow. Well, what a uh, what an evening for us and wherever you are, maybe a day for you, but exciting conclusion. It wouldn't have been right without any drama. So <laughs> the, the whole final hour, that was so exciting. And now we have our winners. Congratulations to everyone who's taking care of their Avogachis and uh, and put so much work into them. I hope they uh, they are happy, healthy, and go with you into the future for a very, very long time. These babies are built for longevity. And um, yeah. Even more... if a subgraph goes down, they're always on the blockchain, always available yeah. to pet. They're never Just going the... away. <laughs> yep, exactly. And um, yeah, so ghost airdrops coming to their pocket. Um, if you're in the top 100 or top 10 for rare, rarity round four, your Pope badge, not Pope badge, oh my gosh, not Pope badges, <laughs> your just BAA badges are on the way. Bad. And if you are one of the ultimate champions of any of the three categories, especially that 
elusive XP uh, third place battled position, <laughs> you will all be receiving exclusive one of one trophies for Rarity Farming Season One. So super excited for everything that's coming. Don't don't miss us Thursday. We'll be in the Discord for a probably type for uh, typed not audio, but we'll see uh, Dino Swap AMA. And I'll just drop that in one more time. We'll see you guys again on Thursday for that. And I think with and that's that going to be here, right? Yeah, yeah. we're going to make a new yeah. channel for them. Yeah, we'll get a channel up and running and uh, ask them the tough questions. We'll, we'll make it right. Real quick, the, yeah, the guy who is, uh, there's a guy streaming right now, right? Streaming this this call. Thanks, bro, for streaming that. And feel free to like post the link to your video. And uh, we'll probably even share that because I think there's a lot of a lot of good stuff here for everyone. So make sure yeah, that no you. Pictures. Yeah, let's get the let's get the stream link for anyone who might have missed it. I'm loving seeing like in the Twitter feed now we got like uh, uh, two I think two people doing YouTube for Avogachi. Super cool to see that. I'm watching it. I'm like I'm like learning about Avogachi <laughs> by watching them. It's really nice uh, and love hearing like uh, the community, like what you guys are thinking, your perspective on on stuff. Yeah, there it is. This is a uh, Music City Gotcha Gang. There's two guys doing yeah, it. Boy. Really good, national. really good stuff. I think they're a part of the ambassadors. And speaking of ambassadors, if you guys want to join the ambassadors program, it is still open. Uh, probably starting tomorrow, we're gonna put the front page of Avagachi back to the ambassador link. Or if you if you can't wait, just go hit up Buzz Lightyear in the channel, in the in the chat here. Yeah, some people, you get the some people had the impression that it was like a, a short term opening, and then you had to wait on on Buzz or someone to get back to you. And, and but no, you you get started, you fill out that type form, and and run with it, and um, we'll we'll follow up. So um, yeah, get involved and in, and in the the way you know how and enjoy. Well, Dan, should we wrap it yeah. up? Let's yep, it's been a this. been a fun day, very very stressful day, guys, but it's been great. Always always a pleasure. <laughs> well, Mark Rarity Farming Season One, nice Complete. Season Two. Uh, like we said earlier, there's a great discussion happening. Lots of uh, good opinions and and thoughts. So definitely do jump in there if you haven't already. Here's the link to that again. I see we have lots of new. Some, some new posts coming in. Oh, we have 19 posts already. Earlier, the link said seven. So there has been quite a few new posts. Great. Jump in there. Yep. Between this one and the, yeah, there's a lot going on. The DAO, the DAO's going to keep ramping up. And then the XP airdrop type form, if, uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that up because we'll probably uh, lock that up as soon as, well, well, we'll do like five more minutes. So I'll log off this uh, call. And then that will uh, get shut down here in a few minutes. It's it's pinned at the top. We can drop it in here though. If for whatever reason you can't get to that. Yep, type form is pinned at the is. also in the channel description here. Why can't I copy paste it? That's weird. Okay, here we go. Okay, Goob's got it. Thanks, Goobs. So yeah, make sure you fill that out and um, you will get the XP for your gachi. <laughs> Sylv, you've been killing it with the memes today in real time. Oh, I love the memes. <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I ignored that one. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. Definitely, uh, you guys can come up with some good questions. Are we going to let them... Are we going to ask them, like, uh, are they going to know what we're going to ask them? Or should we, do you guys want to uh, give us a list or something for them to prepare? Or do you want it to be, like, totally ad hoc? It's a little bit easier if they know what we want to ask them. They can kind of do more thoughtful answers. But if you yeah. if you have any questions, maybe you guys can come up with a list or something. We can send them tomorrow. That might help yeah. a little bit. I wonder where the, let's see, what's the easiest way to- There's some to things they it. can't reveal yet because they just, they must have like a marketing plan that they just can't reveal, but we, we know who they are and we know who they're associated with. Yeah. But uh, I'm sure they have a plan. They don't, 
they don't want to reveal. It's really cool. We're like, as a DAO, I don't know if this has ever happened before. We're so, we're like public, right? But we're talking within our Discord and our community. We're really privy to stuff they're not talking to like anybody publicly about. <laughs> and they're cool with it. We're like, yo, we got to run this by our DAO. Like, there's no other way. And they're like, fine, tell them a little bit about us. We can't say <laughs> That's much. True. That's true, yeah. <laughs> pretty cool there's like there's anon projects out there that we know who the developers are it's they're not really anon we're not anon we i don't there's no i don't think there's any need to be anon but we uh we love giving you guys that alpha that literally no one else has because avagachi is such a strong community and, and people will they're they just they come to us and are willing to like let their guard down a little bit because um i guess they you know they know there's this kind of idea that we're not going to go and tell everyone who they are but uh eventually it'll probably get out anyway think things have a way of doing that but for this for this ama um you know we'll try to let's get as much as we can out of them but they might they might have some things that they're they just can't say that because of their marketing and which we which we understand yeah so, yeah i think it'll probably be more focused on their product and what they're let it speak for itself and and understand they are competent we'll we'll, we'll see but uh, let's try to get what we can out of them too. Oh, one one last little alpha. It's not ready yet, but we did implement a, a new feature that will allow third-party contracts to uh, act as kind of XP managers with limited XP budgets every day, every 24 mm -hmm. hours. So we're going to be uh, hooking that up to Collab Land pretty soon and going to start doing some experience, experiments with that. And also some uh, some other things that we are planning with Twitter that if you guys were around on the community call a while back, you probably remember. So follow up. Follow up. now that now that that one's done, and the Gachi daycare pet uh, the pet operator, uh, we are we're gonna have to get that soon. Pre, uh, pretty get that through pretty soon as well uh, for Taker this the protocol that was announced earlier. Because we want to make sure that lended gachis can also be pets. So that's actually a pretty high priority now. Now that we've finished rarity farming, we can kind of really, really focus on hardcore dev stuff and uh, and get those core functionalities out. So I know pet operator is a big one. And uh, uh, yeah, I think that is major call gachis in stored cold storage. Exactly right. All right, guys. Well, I think that's pretty good for, for tonight. So thanks, Edward, for coming coming on. And uh, we'll probably do – are we going to do a call for the light paper? I think that's going to be – it's not going to be in Discord, like, right? Or uh, We might try to uh, expand the uh, messaging here with a spaces. It seems like spaces is in season, right, guys? So if you don't have a Twitter, it might be time to get one. Mm -hmm. They're kind of uh, – giving that old, what's that app? Everybody's talking about the old clubhouse, a run for the money. So there's been some huge spaces lately. I'm starting to see NFT spaces. So we might do a light paper reading on spaces. I think that's probably going to be part of the reveal and get yeah. the word out to the masses. So that'll be pretty fun. So look forward to that. Probably will that be on the, the 23rd that we, we said earlier? Yeah, Wednesday the 23rd. So, um, yeah, see you guys all there, I hope. And, um, yeah, you got a few minutes left to do the type form. Thank you, everybody, for an awesome first season. Yep, uh, thanks for your I patience you know today. You know, so. yeah, quite the dramatic ending. I love it. It's really, like, it reminded me so much of Haunt 1 and just, like, I'm sweating beads. So it's Finished so line. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff, All guys. right, everyone. Uh, yeah, have a great day. And, uh, yeah, we will chat soon. Whoa. What? Well, have a, make sure you fill out the type form. And see you guys later. Peace. Okay. False start. Sorry. Whoa, what an eventful, like, a very eventful three hours this morning slash this night, depending on where you were. Ooh, that was, that was a good call. Let's, uh, we're going to look at the leaderboard real quick, just refresh it. 
season one, round four, season one finale, Abagachi Rarity Farming Rewards. Just done. We uh we had our community call. There was a lot of great information. Information. Let's put some music on. A lot of great information. Uh distributed to the masses. I feel like we learned a lot. We had um so much alpha drop there. We got stuff, we got to see some stuff for the realm. We're gonna have like a test auction, GBM, uh where we'll get to I guess get some dope like gamer slash like steampunk looking wearables like some real fresh stuff there was i'm just trying to remember all of the stuff that was mentioned we had so much that like came into that it was uh it was quite i'm gonna go back to the discord well real quick we, we could see our top uh it's changed because felon's no longer here but essentially everybody stayed in the same i don't even know if we should look at this since it's uh felon's no longer here what an adventure. Woo, what an adventure. Let's look at the Discord. We've had, uh, it's been quite the morning. People have been going nuts. We got so much cool information all dropped all, uh, at once. Like in one big, like, we had the craziness with Polygon and the subgraph this morning. Rarity farming. We got juked out. We thought the snapshot was taken and then it was delayed another hour, which was interesting. Uh, I got to play a whole bunch of video games. It's been a, a morning well spent. Uh, a lot of coconut water and vaping. I'm, I'm still alive though, so we're going. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, so now we uh, we should all hit up the DAO, the forum. Let's just check because there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff that's going to be uh, I like that. These people, we need to jump in and get involved. There's going to be a SIG prop coming out or a core prop. I forget what they were saying exactly um, for season two. And uh, we're going to we're going to be doing some fun stuff. OK, I need to get to work because <laughs> I've not gotten to work. I love you all. Stay up, friends. This is No Futuristic from Music City Gachi Gang. I'm going to do another video probably in a couple days about the cool merch that I've been buying and maybe doing some hookup, uh, you know, with other stuff. Uh, 615, shouting out. Have a good night or day or evening. Just, just have a good life.